Oh man, freaking Anna. Yeah, I'm still processing. I'm bummed that she's gone. Yeah, tonight was hard, but I have a ton of respect for Anna and her decision. I knew Hannah had been having struggles, but not to that extent. So she was like, send me home, please. And part of me can see why she would do that. Because I'm feeling like a Lululemon right now. We are going through the ringer. I mean, the fact that we didn't get machete and pot for a few days, and now we're still without Flint. And fire is literal life out here. For what it's worth tonight for me, you know, I realize as I'm coming out of my mouth, it sounds like I am attacking you guys, and that's not what my intention was. I, I just, it's been hard for me to make inroads with people. It doesn't necessarily give you the right to point guns at us. I was kind of offended, I'm not gonna lie, when we were just like constantly raking us over the coals, like we have this like secret alliance, like you called him number one and Sean's number three and all this stuff. I feel like I'm kind of being gaslit here because y'all were coming for me. That's genuinely how I felt. Because like, you kind of already see yourself in a way and it makes it hard for us to even get to know you because you're so adamant about being somebody that's not like. Well, my game blew up tonight, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, it's hard to even know where to begin. Um, I definitely knew that my name was on the chopping block. My thought process was, okay, well let's point out Sabaya, Caleb, and Sean have gotten really close. I did not expect for Sabaya to react the way that she did. She took it extremely personally. Was it there just, anything I said in particular that I can apologize for that will make you feel better? I mean, I can't help how I feel, just like how you can't help how you say things. But do you understand that I knew it was do or die for me? I had a choice to make, and I wanted to stay in this game. <laughs> and excuse feel. me for trying to do something to, like, you know, better that situation. If that's how you feel, then that's okay. Like I said, you feel how you feel, I feel how I feel. Yeah. Hannah quit and we're stuck with Emily. Oh my goodness. I don't feel like she's as aware of herself and how she comes across. Do you think she wants to be alone? Probably. I would bet. I feel like she's blaming us, but then not trying to change her behavior at all. I'm having a tough time with her. Emily, like, it matters what you say to people. Like, I don't care if you mean it or not. It matters. Like, tact is a thing. If Emily wants to be Emily, there's no way I could work with her. I mean, as you can see at Tribal tonight, she doesn't really mesh well with the group. I didn't know that she was so sensitive. Obviously, she's bad news, and I know she is.